va passer à notre hauteur, eh bien nous allons nous glisser derrière lui avec l'ensemble du crew. Et puis on va accompagner Solar Impulse pendant les 300, 400, 500 mètres jusqu'à l'instant où il, où il va poser et où l'équipe au sol va le rattraper et, et l'accompagner. Voilà, l'avion vient, Solar Impulse vient de passer devant nous, euh, Sina, et, euh, et on est en train de, de le suivre avec, avec toute l'équipe. Je vous laisse profiter de ces images absolument magnifiques, Sina. Exactly. We can see that right now the ground crew with Emmanuel is following the airplane that's about to touch the plane and that's the airplane with André Bosberg who has made more than 15 hours from Brussels to Paris today. It looks like it's only a few meters before Solar Impulse will touch the ground. I don't know if it has happened. Maybe you'll be able to see it from your side, Emmanuel. Now, just uh, 10 meters before uh, we land in France for the first time in, in uh, Solar Impulse history, we are in Le Bourget and uh, the plane will stop in a few seconds. You see the guys on the bicycle, which are going to, uh, to keep the plane, to help the plane to stay, uh, to, to be stable. Uh, je vais continuer en français parce que c'est plus facile pour moi. Vous pouvez voir uh, les, les équipes qui vont uh, attraper l'avion, qui vont l'aider à se stabiliser parce qu'avec sa roue unique, son, son, uh, sa roue centrale, eh bien, Solar Impulse a besoin d'être retenu, sinon il pivoterait. Il y a quelques photographes qui sont au bord de la piste et puis uh, on vous voit de l'autre côté, du côté du chalet, en train de, de, de suivre cette arrivée absolument magnifique, Sina. So what we can see exactly here from the chalet, thank you very much, Emmanuel, is Solar Impulse touching the ground, André Bosberg driving very slowly with, of course, a guy on a bicycle on each side, and that is, of course, the holding crew, the people who are there to take uh, the airplane, actually, when it lands, because the airplane, the wings, 63.4 meters of wingspan is so long that without somebody holding the aircraft, it could actually lose its balance. There you go. The aircraft has come to a complete stop. I don't know what you can see from where you are, Emmanuel, but it looks oh, wonderful. I'm just 10 the meters, sun just came 10 out. Meters, uh, derrière le, derrière l'avion. Euh, vous avez vu que Solar Impulse a beaucoup, beaucoup roulé, beaucoup plus que d'habitude. D'habitude, il s'arrête beaucoup plus vite. Mais euh, André Borgberg avait euh, envie de venir poser l'avion juste, euh, juste devant le chalet, là où pendant euh, une semaine, nous allons rester et nous allons être, euh, bah oui, l'invité vedette euh, du Salon du Bourget qui va commencer dans 4 ou 5 jours maintenant. Exactly, Emmanuel. So normally the plane actually stops a long time before than it does today. Today it had a very long taxi before the final holding position. And that is, of course, because André Borsberg wanted to be as close as possible to us who's standing here, either on the runway or here in this chalet, this plane that has made uh, travel of more than 16 hours by now from Brussels to Paris today. And of course we're in Paris today because we were invited by the Le Boucher Air Show, the world's biggest air show. And the world's biggest air show is going to be there uh, from, to, from next week. That will be the 20th of June to the 26th of June, when every day, if the weather and all other things allow it, we'll be able to see test flights, show flights of Solar Impulse here in Le Boucher. But let's go back to see the actual plane that's taking its position now. What do you see, Emmanuel? I'm near the, the ground crew, the guys are, uh, ils sont en train de pousser uh, l'avion, de l'emmener uh, de l'autre côté. On va quitter la piste, il reste encore à peu près 50 mètres à faire uh, sur la piste. Et puis tout de suite après, eh bien, on va tourner à gauche, tourner vers le hangar qui se trouve uh, de l'autre côté, uh, uh, à quelques 200, 300 mètres d'ici. Et l'avion va être uh, installé là-bas. Pour l'instant, je, je vois uh, André. André qui a, a quand même le visage un, un peu marqué par, euh, par ses 18 heures de vol. J'essaye d'attraper son regard. André, comment ça va ah, Il ne m'entend pas, André. Ah ben non, mais, euh, mais il a retrouvé son beau sourire. Oui, ouais, ouais, il a l'air vraiment heureux. Là, et là il, y a des, il y a des belles images de joie sur son visage. Yon, euh, notre caméraman qui est là, euh, va essayer de se porter à sa hauteur pour pouvoir euh, euh, vous faire voir la joie sur, sur le visage d'André. Et puis on va, so, on va bien euh, attaquer le virage avec euh, toute l'équipe du Grand Crew qui est là, euh, qui est en train de, de tirer l'avion et de l'emmener euh, vers ce qui sera son hangar dans quelques instants. So what my colleague Emmanuel just told you, because he's actually very, very, very close to the actual plane and to André Boschberg, is that 
Andre looks very happy. He's full of smiles, and even though his face is somehow marked by the 17, 16 hours of journey that he's made, it must be a wonderful feeling to finally land here in Paris. As you can see behind me, the ground crew is about to um, take from its position to the hangar, which is in the left side of me. The uh, slow pace that the aircraft has when it's up there in the sky flying maybe 35 40 kilometers per hour is the same kind of slow pace that it takes when it lands here in Paris because as you can see they're actually pulling the aircraft no more battery no more engines are making the plane go forward but manpower and that is of course the people the ground crew who are there to pull the aircraft to its final position let's have a look at some of the images of the ground crew there with the beautiful sun shining on Solar Impulse that made its second international uh, travel here today from Brussels to Paris. Let's have a look.